Hello and welcome back again to LinuxJobber.com where we prepare you for Linux jobs. We focus on getting you Linux jobs here. Now my name is Sean Me Joseph and my email is showpopulous at gmail.com so please free, feel free to send me questions and I'll be happy to answer them for you. For today I am going to be talking about how to set up a second NIC address on your existing machine. So suppose you have a machine and you want to set up a second NIC um, that's what I'm going to be showing you how to do it today now if you look at my desktop here I have two terminals open and they're both on local host so if you look at this this is the lo a terminal on my local host and if we go up here this is another terminal this is another um, terminal open on my local host so let's start with the first one so now I'm going to connect to a server ssh 192.168.1.25 so server right now and it's asking for my password and as you can see I'm connected to this server now called Minidel so now let's look at how many NICs this server has if you type in the route command it will show you it only has if zero so if you type in if you can see the if zero here and you can see its IP address and you can see it's running and the mask is this right here so let's just say you want to set up a second uh, NIC. Now this, uh, this is useful in many different areas. One of the ways that this can be very useful for you is if you have a network and you want to only allow a certain IP address into the, a particular machine or a scenario similar to that then you can set up a second NIC such that everybody else doesn't have that IP address only you have that IP address and you can set up that secretly so here's how it works if you look in there um, we have we only have eight zero and what we're going to do in it's very simple doing this so you go to you do do this as roots you copy the existing one which is in Etsy um, sys config network scripts and if you look inside here we only have one because we only have one NIC we only have one um, configuration for that NIC so we're gonna copy it to a second configuration now rem remember when we do this this is not building a second NIC it's actually creating an alias for the first NIC so what you're doing is you're copying this to almost itself again but then the only difference would now be that you're putting an alias in front of it so you're telling it to do see it, this is itself again and what you do is that you put an alias in front of it alias 0 and you can do alias 1 alias 2 and how many ever you wish to do so when you do this you copy it it's done so now when you look on there inside that directory the configuration directory you will see that now we have two of them this is there's just one nick but it has a different alias in here remember when we did this before I showed you the IP address of this machine as 125 192.168.0.125 up here so when we open up the alias to set up its configuration you're gonna see you're gonna see that it does not have an IP address because my computer is running on DHCP so what, what, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to reconfigure this alias to understand that it's just a second alias first I change the device name 
and then I go down and I give it an IP address and if you have static IP address to use all you just have to do is change the static IP address up in, in here instead of using boot proto to DHCP you would just change this to static but in my case I want to leave it as DHCP so I'm going to only configure this machine to call its IP address IP address dot 19 remember this is an alias so they have to be on the same network you cannot have one running on 192.168 and the other one running on some other IP address maybe 127. Dot something or anything else they have to be under under the same subnet and I don't I can't think of an easier way to explain subnet but just understand that they have to be under the same subnet so now um, we have done this let's get out of here save it and it's done for the most part there's really not much to it is very simple so all you just have to do is restart the net network sudo restart sudo service network restart basically it's done everything it needs to do so now if you do the uh, if config you can see our new nick alias here and we can hide this IP address from other users and they can access this machine using this and we can use this one for management or whatever else we wish to use this other IP address for and this is how to do this and to make sure that it works and that there is no problem um, first of all let me show you the route command and let's see what's in there it still says the same thing but everything goes through this gateway now so now um, if you want to log into this machine let's clear it and let's log into that machine dot 19 as you can see now I go back to my second terminal I'm still on localhost here even though on here I'm already on the server mini Dell but here I'm still on the localhost and I'm gonna try to connect to mini Dell from the new IP address that we just created and when I type this as you can see it's asking for my password and when I supply my password, I'm in Minidale. So we have created a new IP address. We have created a new NIC. Um, it's an alias. And we have done what we set out to do. So thank you very much for watching this video today. My own name is Sean Me Joseph here at LinuxJobber.com. Preparing you for Linux jobs. So if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at showpopulous at gmail.com and I'll be sure to answer your questions for you. Thank you very much and have a nice day.